It's time to inspire. It's time to say bye. It's time to, uh, you know, see you off for some time. Because I know you guys are again going to come back for the next phase. And, uh, you know, a lot of students, uh, I saw their messages and I couldn't control myself from coming over here. In fact, I have uh, left one function which I'm supposed to also go. And I feel for me right now, the priority is my students. Uh, so there is a, you know, whatever, some family function is planned. I don't think that is important for me right now. For me right now, you guys are important because uh, tomorrow is going to be your day. I have seen this cycle every year, more than 12 years. I have seen this every year. Students go, they pass, they celebrate. Some people don't celebrate but for every one of you this day is going to be very very memorable very very special and uh, i feel that this day carries a lot of weightage more than boards also and how many of you agree with this that sir i am feeling that this is um, making me more nervous than i was for boards just let me know in the chat box just let me know in the chat box Yes, you will be. So there is a reason for that. That is because your college, your branch is going to be decided. But at the same time, let me also tell you, it's not like your entire future is going to be decided. It might go really bad if you don't do well. And if you get a very good college, then you will be on cloud nine. You, it will be the best thing in the world. You are going to get a lot of money. If you get to the best college, you are going to get a lot of respect. You're going to get a lot of cool things. That is also not true. So let me clarify a few things before we go to the exam hall. And before we go ahead, first of all, a very, very happy Republic Day to all my uh, dear friends, my students, my fellow uh, colleagues, uh, and also to the parents of all the students, probably you might be also watching or maybe you too are a part of the kids journey. Maybe you are sitting beside the kids as your watch as your kid watches this lecture. So a very, very warm wish and uh, also happy Republic Day. So it's in fact very rare that, you know, a national holiday comes before the J mains exam and we celebrate it. And at the same time, we say bye bye to our students. Now, honestly speaking, I have not prepared anything or I have not thought of what to say. But let me tell you one thing, guys. See, uh, I had many friends uh, or even I have seen many students who went to IITs and who thought that, yes, that's it. I have cleared the IIT exam and after this life is going to be set. But I saw them depressed. I saw them cursing their course saying that what the hell did I do? I just did this because of so and so reason. And just two weeks back, one of my student called me and uh, he said, sir, uh, do you remember me? And I'm like, no, sir. I, uh, then I was like, no, I don't remember you. And I'm like, sir, I'm pretty sure you won't remember me also because I was sitting always behind. I never used to answer your questions. I was not so intelligent. There is no reason why you would even remember me. Then I was like, yeah, maybe I honestly apologize or maybe I don't know all the names because I used to teach big, big classes of 100, 200 students in front of me. So then I was like, okay, why, what made you call me? And that student was like, sir, I did not go to IIT or NIT, but you know, I set up my own food startup. It has some amazing juices and amazing uh, dishes and all of that. And it did so well. Now I'm opening more franchises and it is doing really well. In fact, I was planning to also do an MBA to understand how businesses work. And then again, you know, improve my business even further. I was like, wow, this is too good. And I was like, whenever uh, I'm going to come to uh, Pune city back, I'm definitely going to visit your place. So the point of the matter is, see, imagine that student when he, that student would have not cleared J 
or maybe got decent or boring marks in J. And all his friends are celebrating at, on the sides and saying that, hey, I got this percentile, hey, I got that rank, hey, I got this rank. What would that student have gone through? What would he or she would have felt? Just imagine that. That student would be probably very depressed at that point of time. He would be feeling worthless. Maybe his parents also would have scolded him. Listen, we spent 1 lakh or 2 lakh rupees on the coaching and then here you are not even getting 90 percentile, 95 percentile and see all your friends have gone ahead. At that point of time, had he decided that I'm not going, okay, I'm worthless, I'm not going to do anything. I don't think he would be with that food starter. He didn't know at that point of time he is going to achieve something great in life. Even you don't know today what is life going to throw at you. You don't know the paper. You don't know the kind of questions. It might be easy. It might be difficult. You might say, sir, I knew everything and I blanked out in the exam. Okay, no problem. Sir, the paper was so easy. I was not expecting it to be so easy. I did very well. Very good. Luck was on your side. At the end of the day, what happens in the paper is spontaneity. Spontaneity plays a lot of role. That means at that moment, did it click or not click? It's just a moment. See, India lost La uh, World Cup. Does that mean Indian team is bad? Answer in the questions. Answer in the chats. Happy Republic Day, everyone. Happy Republic Day. India lost the World Cup. Does that mean Indian team is bad? Does that mean Virat Kohli was not great? Does that mean Rohit Sharma's captaincy is not good? Does that mean Mohamed Sami was not a great bowler? No, right? They were good bowlers. They were good batsmen. They were good captains. The problem was the time. Something went wrong. Some miscalculation happened. They thought of batting first or whatever. Same thing might go wrong with you also. Just be prepared for it. And even if it goes wrong, even if it goes wrong, it's okay. It's perfectly okay. Because there is a second attempt also. And even if you fail the second attempt, that is still okay. Even if you get 20 percentile, even if you are not able to score 50 marks in tomorrow's exam or the exam ahead, it is okay. I know some of the teachers or some of the parents might be like, no, you have to do it. Yes, even I will say you have to do it. But don't stress over it. Right now, you're thinking, what if I don't? What if I do? What if this happens? Okay, I'll tell you one more interesting story. Everybody geared up for one more story. And I used to always wonder about this. In fact, um, have you seen people skiing in the snow through the forest? They go nice lead through the curves there are many trees there are many flagpoles and these people go from the top of the hill or the mountain through snow and they go skiing left right in those curves have you seen those videos or have you done skiing or have you seen somebody skiing sometimes it's very interesting you know how you can get motivation through that as well i used to think how are these people who are skiing able to navigate their way through that forest, there are trees here, there are rocks there. Haven't you also wondered how come they don't hit the trees? How come they don't hit the rock? How come they don't hit the obstacle on their way? How many of you wondered? How many of you wondered? And you know what is the trick? Do you know what is the trick? How they avoid all these obstacles? How they avoid all these trees? When they are skiing, they can see everything, the trees, the obstacles, the rocks, the people. They know that if they hit the obstacle, obviously they might lose their life. But when they are skiing, they are not thinking about, oh, there is a tree, oh, there is a tree, oh, there is a tree, oh, there is a rock, oh, there is a rock, oh, there is a person, oh, there is a rock, oh, there is a tree, I have to go left, oh, I have to go right. No, in fact, they are just looking on the path. They are just looking at the path. That's it. Oh, the path is like this. They don't care about the obstacles. Same thing you have to do tomorrow. Same thing you have to do next entire week for every shift, whichever student is watching this. You are not going to focus on the obstacles. 
यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू वरी अबाउट ओ वॉट इज दैट स्टूडेंट डूइंग वाई इज द टाइम आर नॉट वर्किंग वाई इज द सुपरवाइजर लुकिंग एट मी लाइक दैट वाई इज दिस बेंच लाइक दिस वाई एम आई फीलिंग हॉट वाई एम आई फीलिंग कोल्ड ओ माई लेग इज अनकम्फर्टेबल ओ माई हैंड आई एम शिवरिंग नो डोंट थिंक ओनली अबाउट ऑल दैट your attention should be only on the problem in front of you not the one behind not the one in the ahead understand that so my dear students my dear students i hope i hope this pushes you towards overlooking all the other random things that might happen around you and it will happen things might go wrong here and there be prepared for it but even when that happens remember you are not alone it happens with many students over the years something or the other maybe the computer got stuck whatever it's okay it's perfectly fine it will be manageable just be calm just take a deep breath and come back to your senses and ask the supervisor if there is some problem but let me tell you one more thing tomorrow's session or whatever exam that you are going to write on either 29th or 30th 31st first feb i want you to fight it out as if that is the last attempt tomorrow is not the first attempt tomorrow is not the j mains first attempt tomorrow that means the entire week is the second attempt repeat after me everybody repeat after me everybody repeat after me my dear warriors that whatever attempt you are going to write this week is not the first attempt what is it it's the second attempt that means it's your final attempt it's your final attempt my dear warriors it's your final attempt my dear warriors and you are going to fight like it you are going to solve the paper like it you are going to struggle you are going to push yourself so hard as if this is what is going to be the deciding factor but without getting tense without looking at the obstacles you are going to focus on your goal you are going to focus on your desired rank desired ambition your capability your potential your potential you are going to achieve tomorrow and when you and when you fight like hell as if it is your last day to fulfill your dream you will come out with flying colors don't think about how your reaction will be after the exam hall don't think what your uh, friends are going to say or how they are look going to look at you don't worry about how your parents are going to look at you what matters is you what matters is did you give your best when you come out of the exam hall after this first shift you're going to say yes sir i gave my best yes there were problems no problem but i gave my best that is what you are going to say and you are going to create a future and you cannot predict what is going to happen tomorrow or day after tomorrow but if you can't predict the future just like abram lincoln says the future is what you can create it i can't tell you whether you can get 99 percentile or 90 percentile or 80 percentile but what you do in the exam hall will decide and make the future it's not yet written it's like a blank page in your notebook there are some pages which are filled some pages which are empty you are going to write on those pages what you write it's up to you how to write i have taught you whether you will write or not how much will you write is dependent completely on you if somebody comes and tells you don't write it's up to you to listen to that person or to your mind to your heart listen to your heart listen to your mind go with the instincts go with the flow you know everything it's just the first 5 minutes which is going to be little bit tough once you settle down you will feel cool you will feel calm yes everybody let's do this let's do this let's fight like hell let's fight like hell and let me also remind you that there is rank predictor link which i have put in the description box and also one more link guys for if you can recommend or you can tell to your friends or your juniors or your seniors all the vedantu courses offline are coming up at discount so make sure you spread the news that's one small help which i will need from all of you okay you can share the link which is there 
so the republic day offline center offer is there till 31st you can click on the link okay so please check that out it's there in the description box right now okay i want you to see it and you can also take part in it you can also get those crash courses or you can recommend the courses to your juniors because you loved learning under me or learning under vedantu so maximum discount is going, going to be given in the next few days till 31st that's the deadline the link is there below please talk about it to your friends after the exam it's okay and if you are also interested you can also join in so that's all i wanted to say thank you very much please like the video share and also subscribe to the channel tomorrow we are going to meet for the paper discussion if your paper is afterwards watch the paper discussion because same kind of questions will get repeated okay and if you, obviously it was your paper you must watch it so that you understand what mistakes you did so watch all the discussions all the discussions have been lined up for all of you on this vedantu j english channel okay so let's do it let's crack it let's fight like hell let's fight like hell okay like there is no other attempt this is your second attempt and if you are with me i would like to hear that from you in the comments thank you very much and once again happy republic day all the very best from the entire vedantu team and the vedantu j english team and also your captain this is your captain shreyas signing off see you on the other side hasta la vista